Hi there, I'm Max with Alpre.io. In this video, I want to show how to use server code to connect to a third-party API or invoke a third-party API, and also how to use snippets in server code. So let's get started. Um, I'm already in server code, and you can see I have two scripts now, but it's very easy to create a new one. Just clicking Create Script, and right away, uh, the editor is loaded. Um, now there is a default script here, um, and actually we don't need it, we can quickly delete it. But let's also give the script a name and we'll call this weather, because we're going to be connecting to a weather API. Now, in general, server code is very um, powerful because you can really write any code here. Uh, there's also API to connect to Apria, your database. You can also send push messages. So you can really create advanced logic for your app. But we've also simplified uh, we made it um, even simpler for you to uh, insert or add some of the logic by using snippets here, all right? And so this, these are small, um, reusable uh, code that you can insert. And the one we need is call REST API get, all right? So we can just click insert, and right away we have sort of a template, the code that we would need. All right, so we need to set the URL. We need to specify the parameters. And that's basically it. Now the API they're going to be calling is right here. So it's a weather API. And this is the one here basically. So we're going to get a location. Right? And I've got the API also here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL and go back to server code. And I'm going to set it as a URL. Right? Now I'm going to set two parameters. So the first one is the location. And now the location, that's the input into the script. So we're going to say var. We're just going to create this parameter. And going to say request get. And we can just call this um, location, for example. And then here, location. Now the other one, the second one, is, um, is the API. right? So this is the app ID. So let's actually copy this one. And this is app ID, right? And then we don't need the third one, so we can just delete it, right? So this is nice because this API, this is, again, this is a server-side script, so this API is secure. No one, uh, this will never be exposed on a client, <clears throat> which is nice. Uh, once you are done with the script, you, of course, want to test it before you run it. And so to do that, we're going to go to script parameters, and this is where you can define the input. So let's switch this to get first, because we're doing a get, and then we're going to enter a location. Right? So this location matches the script uh, parameter here. Right? Then we can enter a city. So for example, Boston is a sample value. Let's click run. Oh, let me just save the script. Here we go. I can just click run again, and we can see now we get the result from the API. So this is the weather information for Boston right now. So um, by testing the script, right, you know that it works, right, with the sample data. Um, now, how do you invoke the script from your app? Well, it's very simple as well. All you have to do is switch to API information. And right here, you can see the script is automatically um, has a URL or a REST API URL, basically, which you can use to invoke. So for example, uh, you can copy this and we can test this anywhere in the browser. You can just enter location, right? And just works the same way. So you can see now this is testing outside of Opry.io. But of course you want to build an app. So let's go back to Opry.io and then I already have an app here. Let's quickly open it. This is a this is an Ionic Angular GS app. And we can quickly generate the service, right? So server code services. And whether this is the one that I just created. All right. And request, you can see it actually uh, sort of imports the sample data as well, which is fine. And we can go to test. And you can see instantly, you see the data, same data. And we can create the response. And that's it. Right, so you can see that uh, it's very fast and simple. Um, and again, obviously you can add other logic here as well. You can test the script. 
right? Definitely use the snippets, the other snippets that, again, you don't have to type. You can just insert the snippet. Um, and again, keep in mind that you also have access to the database API, uh, the uh, push API, so you can do everything here um, as well. So definitely um, give this a try. And thank you for watching.